All right, so today we are playing a game called Eyeless Jack, and I do believe this is actually a creepypasta. I'm not certain on that. <coughs> I will correct myself in post if that's correct or not. But Eyeless Jack does sound very familiar. Uh, I used to be big into creepypasta stuff. Pretty sure that's where I heard it from. Either way, let's get started. Hello, my name is Mitch. I'm here to tell you about an experience. Hello, Mitch. I have no idea if it was paranormal or whatever stupid words people use to describe supernatural phenomena. <laughs> this experience, I started to believe in it. You can't call a word stupid and then proceed to be a nerd by saying supernatural phenomenon. That's not how this works, Mitch. Well, those are my last things. I'm glad you didn't leave me in this, Edwin. Your family, Mitch. Of course I'd be here for you, man. Let's just move those boxes inside already. It's getting cold. I mean, I like the dialogue. Any game with- can I grab more than one? No. Any game with dialogue, I will take. It means less reading on my part. Am I supposed to put these anywhere specific? Yep, yeah, right there. Okay. Uh, there is no run button. Which hopefully means I won't be running away from stuff. Yeah, don't worry, Mitch. You don't gotta help me. I can do this all on my own. Holding that gate door opens a lot of hard work, huh? Oh, what po- wait, what? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. You don't have to stand so ominously in the doorway, man. Holding the gate open is very hard work. That was no sarcasm. Don't kill me. Okay, I think we're good. Huh. Some of these are actually kind of funny. All right, do you want me to grab this from you? What's happening? Thanks, Thanks Edwin. <clears throat> All right, where you go, Edwin? There you are. Oh, what's that outside? Oh, just a leaf. What's up? You want one? Oh, thanks. I don't smoke. Why don't you get some rest? You had quite a long ride to get here. That's not a bad idea. I'm pretty tired. Alright. Good night, then. Night. <laughs> night. Alright, so what's the layout of this house? Can I open closed doors? Not yet. Uh, hey, Edwin, you need, uh, you need more toilet paper in here. Alright, go sleep. Sorry about no, uh, video last Wednesday, by the way. I was incredibly busy and had zero time to record. But hopefully that won't happen again. I'm gonna try and be more on top of these things. Oh, there you are. In the same chair. Morning. Hey man, did you sleep well? Yeah, not bad at all. I only heard some strange rustling outside. But I guess it was just a raccoon or something. <laughs> I just yeah, heard some strange yeah. rustling. Like I slept great. Would you mind raking the leaves outside the house? I'll make breakfast in the meantime. Sure thing. The rake is somewhere around the entrance. I'm assuming he means the entrance to the door. Yeah. Oh, those are cooking noises. I thought those were leaves rustling noises. I'm like, what is going on? 
as a started already wheelbarrow. And this guy really does just live in the middle of nowhere. There's just nothing here. Blood? To be honest, I'm not too sure what that's supposed to be. It's like black? Is that blood? Or just rustling by my window? Oh, there's a ladder. I use it. I cannot. So why are the kitchen windows blacked out, but everything else is fine? Or not the kitchen, the his bedroom windows blacked out. Ah, still in that chair, huh? Just in time. I cooked some eggs. You're wonderful. Thank you, Edwin. Did I fall asleep in the chair? Did he put roofies in my eggs? What happened? It was in the morning. Ate some eggs and now it's AM? Yeah, close that window. Don't trust that. Sup, man, you really like that chair. What's going on? What the hell happened to you? Take a look in the mirror. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, what did happen to me? Gonna be a jump scare. Oh no. Just gash in face. An hour later. It seems like you've been sleepwalking, Mitch. I have no other explanation for that. That's strange. That's very strange. Indeed, but there is something more disturbing than just gash. Gasp! Am I pregnant? You somehow lost your kidney last night. Oh, <laughs> what? what? Unfortunately, we don't know how that happened. <laughs> what? Just missing my kidney? How did I not realize my whole ass kidney was missing? Oh, are you okay, man? Your, uh, your neck's not looking too good there. Oh yeah, sorry. I went over here and E and nothing happened. Take care, Mitch. Thank you. Take care, Mitch? Is your words to a morning guy who just lost his kidney? Dude, how am I gonna tell him? I only have one kidney, Edwin. He thinks I'm sleepwalking. That's bullshit. How could this be the case? I don't know. I'm so fucked up. Anyway, take this key. It belongs to your room. Sure. What? And bitch. If there's anything bothering you, you can always tell me about it. I know. Thanks, Edwin. So let me get this straight. The doctor tells me I've been sleepwalking, and that's probably how I got the gash, but my kidney was stolen, and that's the part I leave out? I let him know I'm sleepwalking, but not that my kidney's missing? Excuse me? I 
feel like these priorities are just all messed up. I'm missing my other kidney. Oh. Oh, hello, sir. Flash. Yo, is going outside really the best option for this? Oh, shit. Oh! Where? Oh! Yo, what? Was I supposed to take a picture? I don't know. Good morning, Mitch. Good morning. I have some good and bad news. Do I have my kidney? That you only had minor injuries and your parents are going to pick you up. However, the bad news is that your brother, Edwin, was from there. Does he have his kidneys? I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Yeah, why the hell would I just run outside into the forest and frolic around out there? Like, what part of me thought that was a good idea versus, like, waking up my brother or something? Like, now I'm gonna walk into this room and just get demolished. Hi, Edwin. Uh... Is that his kidney? <laughs> Do I have Edwin's kidney? Are you okay, son? Yeah, I'm okay, Dad. What is happening? Okay, yeah, creepy pasta. Cool. I do not have to uh, fix that and post them. I'll have to look into that real quick and see if anything can shed some light on that. Cause uh, I don't quite understand that ending. I grabbed his kidney, walked away. Wow, there's a lot of. People that went into making this. Okay, upon reading the creepy pasta, which I did right after recording this video, uh, yeah, it appears that the kidney on the ground was the brother Mitch's, like the person you were playing in this game. Yeah, apparently that was his half-eaten kidney, which still don't quite understand why he'd just pick it up, walk into the car, shock maybe. Shock does weird things to people. Yeah, I'm just gonna chop it up to that. But yeah, that was an awful. That was pretty fun, actually. Uh, very short, but that's kind of the nature of these games. But yeah, that was a actually pretty good experience. And if you did like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to us. We'd really appreciate it. And while you're doing that, comment some games you would like to see us play in the future.